DIY Tuesday and we're going to be making a bow bandeau. There's a ton of DIYs out there in vlogs and YouTube videos, but you know what? I'm going to bring you guys something new, something fresh because I owe you guys that much. We are going to be making a bow bandeau with three straps in the back and also, wait for it, it's going to be reversible. You can wear it two different ways. You're gonna have fun. So let's go ahead and get started on this DIY. Okay, so to get started, we are going to cut out two rectangles that will cover up the bust area. To make it reversible, make sure that they are two different patterns. On the wrong side of each fabric, I have marked the darts for the bandeau on both pieces. And if you want the exact explanation on how to do this, you can check out my blog. So now I'm going to pinch the darts right in the middle and I'm going to pin on the line making sure that I match it with the line on the back side. And then I end up doing this to the other three darts as well and I just went ahead and sew along a line on the dart. To relieve the bulk, I'm just going to trim down the dart a bit on all four of them. Place the two pieces right sides together and sew the top and the bottom. So now you're going to flip it inside out and flatten it out as much as you can and sew along the top and the bottom again so that it will stay pressed. For the bow, you will cut out two rectangles, as big or as little as you like, and make sure that they are of two different prints. So this will be your bow and you will face it right sides together and sew all the way around leaving a small gap at the bottom. You're going to flip it inside out through the little hole and don't forget to sharpen out the corners. And now you're just going to go ahead and sew that little hole shut. Next, cut out a small strip of fabric and fold in half and sew across. Flip that inside out and it's time to put the bow and bandeau together. So now you're going to bring back the bandeau and with the strip seam facing upwards, you are going to sandwich the bandeau in the fold of the strip and then sew across. Now you'll just flip that little strip to its right side to conceal the seams. Next, you will need to create three elastic scrunchies with your fabric and I have a really good reference video linked in the description box for that. The top scrunchie will be slightly bigger than the bottom just because your body tapers down a bit towards the waist. Now here's the really tricky part. You're gonna fold the raw edges of the sides of the bandeau inwards and then you're gonna place the longest scrunchie at the top of the bandeau wedged inside of it and then you're just gonna pin in place. You're gonna go ahead and fold the rest of the sides down and then just wedge the second elastic in and then fold the rest of that down and wedge the third elastic in and also pin in place. And now you're just gonna sew as close to the edge as possible making sure you catch the elastics. So now you're gonna bring the elastic over and repeat on the other side. And to finish this off, I'm going to take the bow piece and pull it through the strip in the middle of the bandeau and there you have it, your bow bandeau. So if you want to reverse it, it's pretty simple. You just take the bow out, flip it inside out, and then pull the bow through the strip again with the pattern facing the other side and you got your second bandeau. So that's that! I hope you guys enjoyed the DIY. I hope it isn't too hard. Oh, if you liked the video, remember to actually like it down below and to make me happy by subscribing to my channel and also you get more DIYs in the way too. You wanna say hi to me? Wanna chit chat with me? Head over to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and uh, we can have a conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will chat with you guys later. Bye! Rock on DIYers! Well, hello, hello there, my wonderful viewers. So here is my blow drying routine for bouncy, effortless hair. And this is great for those of you with limp, lifeless hair as well. So yeah, just watch the rest of this video. So first, I'm going to start off with damp hair. I usually towel dry mine, it's just fine. And if your hair holds a lot of water, and I mean like a bucket of water, you can surely blow dry it a bit just to get some of the water out. And now I'm going to